Welcome to onsodi.com. Adobe Bridge is a file browser that is ideal for viewing your images. Bridge will display images in a color managed, flexible, and adjustable interface and offers you many different ways to view and manage your images. You can open Bridge from your applications folder or from the Photoshop interface, file, and then select Browse in Bridge. You will use Bridge frequently, so it's a good idea to have easy access to it. Let's get straight into it and have a look around. When you first open up Bridge, you may find that the Favorites panel is open by default. Navigate to the Folders panel firstly. Bridge will replicate the folders on your hard drive. You can add and delete folders and files from Adobe Bridge, just like you can with any system folder. In the lower right hand corner, the slider changes the size of the thumbnails. We can make them large, and we can also make them small. I like to keep my images small enough, so I can manage more of them. I have this file selected by clicking on it, and when I tap the space key, a full screen preview image appears, and tap the space key again, to return back to the bridge interface. Let's keep looking around. You will notice as you look around the interface, that I have these lines of metadata information, under the thumbnails. This is set in the preferences, which we will cover in a later video. Up in the top left hand corner, and there is the forward and back buttons, just like a web browser, so we can go back to a previous folder, or to the next. This button we can go to a parent folder, we can also use this icon, to go to a recent folder, the boomerang represents going back to Adobe Photoshop. You can import your images with the photo importer, we can refine. And if we have a raw file selected, we can immediately open that file into Adobe Camera Raw by clicking on this icon. And we can also rotate images. I can scroll through the images. Or I can use the sidebar to move up and down. Here's a tip. Use the page down or page up keys on the keyboard to move a whole page view respectively. Over in the top right hand side is the preset workspaces, this little icon here, you can move and drag to display more workspace options, you may find it a little bit far to the right, when first opening bridge, set the thumbnail quality here, I always have this set to high. This may slow your computer when first importing a file. I can add a star rating to a file, as you can see some of these files already have a star rating on them. I can also sort these images manually, by file type, by ratings, manually and in a whole range of different ways. I can also use the ascending, or descending order, which will switch the order of the images around. I can open a recent file, create a new folder, and I can also delete an item. But most of these actions, can be achieved with other methods, which we will show you in later videos. Here is the image preview panel the metadata panel, and keyword panel. The panel visibility options are accessed, from over here in the window workspace menu, if you can't already see them. You can change, and select these different workspaces as you wish. Let's now have a look at the essentials workspace, which gives us the thumbnails in the center, with a preview to the right. Coming across into the film strip workspace, will show in a film strip mode, with a film strip view of images down the bottom. I can easily use the keyboard arrow buttons, to cycle through the images, this is very helpful, and very quick. The metadata panel, will display the metadata of each one of the files. Or the keywords workspace. The preview workspace provides a vertical film strip in the left hand side. The light table workspace turns the thumbnails area into full screen. And we can also view folders down here. I can swap these panels around too. I'll come back to essentials and we'll have a little bit more of a look. Customize this interface by clicking and dragging and moving everything around. I can increase the size of the preview area, I can do all sorts of things. There's many different ways of being able to look at the bridge interface. 
we can save our workspace up here by choosing New Workspace. Another very important aspect of the bridge interface is the ability to right click and this will open up a whole range of extra options. You are able to move, copy, paste, duplicate, open into camera or purge the cache, generate high quality thumbnails, add develop settings and more. Watch the next series of videos on Adobe Bridge and learn how to set up Bridge and manage all of your photographs.